Welcome again. In this session, we're going to be reading Luke chapter 13, verses 1 to 5. And I'm entitling this Repent, okay? Actually, you could also entitle it Re Repent or Perish. Let's read it. Verse 1. Now there were some present at the time, at the same time, who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Now, that sounds pretty hideous, doesn't it? Pilate took these people's blood and mixed it with the blood of the sacrifices that was sacrificed on the altar in the temple to the Lord, okay? Very disgusting thing to do, very evil thing to do, but this is what it says, right? The Pilate uh, did that. It's just uh, horrendous. Verse 2, Jesus answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. Or those 18 whom the Tower of Siloam fell and killed them? Do you think that they were worse offenders than all the men who dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. Now, on the surface, this could sound quite confusing. Is Jesus saying that the Galileans were killed because of their sins or not? Maybe they were just killed by chance. You know, was Jesus saying that, that the, the people on whom the Tower of Siloam fell uh, were, uh, were, were innocent? Like, was it just by chance or was it because of their sin? Well, it sounds to be like in, from verse 2 onward, verse 2, 3, 4, and 5, that Jesus is acknowledging that these horrendous things have happened because of their sin. Let's read it one more time, going back to verse 2. Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. Now, what's he saying no to? Is he saying no that they, that they suffered such things because they were sinners? Or is he saying no, that they were worse sinners? Okay, I think it's pretty clear that he's saying no, they, they were not worse sinners. And then he, he continues the, 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 the sentence in verse 3 saying, But unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. So that is a very, very serious thing to talk about. I mean, uh, that's, that's just like someone coming up to you. We're coming up to a, a, a leader in the church, coming up to a, a pastor, a priest, a bishop, you know, and saying, oh, look at this horrendous thing that happened to this person. Oh, look what happened to this person. It's just horrific, you know, just horrific things have happened and have, have been done against this person. And you turn around and say, no, unless you repent, you will, you will likewise perish. Wow. I mean, that is a very, very serious and very stern rebuke by Jesus himself. Verse 4, I mean, or those 18 on whom the tower in Siloam fell killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the men who dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. So he was acknowledging that these well, first of all, there were these acts of evil. But first of all, this one act, which is uh, an act of evil that was done against a certain uh, certain group of people or to certain people, that was done by people to people. Uh, Jesus said that the receivers of this evil were basically uh, sinners, and and that is why they received it. And he and he, and, uh, he re he warned the people, if you keep, if you do the same things, then uh, the same will happen to you. I mean, if you do not repent of your sin, then the same thing will happen to you. Um, so it's very important to realize, it's very important to acknowledge that God is on his throne. 
that everything that happens either happens with his direct knowledge or because of a principle or law that he put in place. I mean, there are many principles and laws that he put in place. There's a very simple one that I'm sure everybody knows about, and this is the law of gravity. The law of gravity is a simple law that God put in place to keep us here on the earth, right? Now, there are other laws that God put in place. One is um, that Jesus talked about, if you do not forgive others, you will not be forgiven. And if you're not forgiven, that bitterness, that hatred, uh, that grudge, that you, that chip on your shoulder will become a very heavy burden and could kill you, okay? Um, a lot of people suffer a lot of things because of grudges that they have against other people. Uh, so it's very important to forgive. It's very important to forgive people and such. It's very important to deal with all of your sin. Sin, uh, all kinds of sin, uh, produce evil. The, the fruit of sin is evil. And a lot of people would say, what is sin? I mean, 1 John 3, 4 makes it very clear what sin is. You know, sin is transgression of the law. Sin is transgression of in context and specifically God's law. So sin against God is being a transgressor of his law. It's very important to know what his law says. And a lot of people do not know. They don't know what his law says. Therefore, they do not know what sin is. So first of all, before you repent, you've got to know what to repent of. When you repent, it means you're supposed to change. Not feel sorry. I mean, we see this in the book of, of Hebrews where Esau, it says, he sought repentance with tears. He was so sorry he cried. The grown man cried, but yet he was not able to repent. So repentance is actually bringing about a change in your life. That's what repentance is all about. Changing your life or bringing about a change in your life, the change of circumstance. It begins with changing your mind uh, and change your mind about what you think about what God calls sin. You should start rejecting sin, sin as defined in the law of God. You should reject all sin and accept righteousness, live right, live holy. So in order to re repent properly, you need to know what sin is. Read the Bible, okay? And I know that uh, a lot of people say, well, that's Old Testament, the law. No, no, no. The Old Testament. Check out my, uh, my article on um, Old Testament versus New Testament. Um, the article on Old Testament versus New Testament talks a lot about what a testament really is and what a law really is. And they're two completely different things, okay? And this is what was part of the great falling away that we're seeing in, the, in recent times in the church today. They're falling away from the true righteousness that is taught of in the scriptures. So we need to really, it's simple. It's simple. We need to just read the scriptures and do it. It's just simple. Do it to the best of your ability. I know that some of the things you cannot do, and that's fine. God knows if you cannot do it, you cannot do it, okay? But if you can do it, do it. So you need to repent. You need to keep your mind on the, on the fact that, hey, you need to walk in repentance daily. Do not let a day go by without walking out death. The repentance is not doing. Repentance is dying. You need to die to yourself, die to your plans, die to your lust, die to all of you know your reputation, everything that is that has anything to do with you. You need to die and and therefore God can resurrect you. And that's what the new birth experience is all about, is, is dying to sin, dying to the old life, dying to, you know, dark, the, the kingdom of darkness and rising in the kingdom of light. So you need to die. How do you die? Well, first of all, obey the law to the best of your ability. 
Some of you cannot obey certain commands just because you are so bound to, in sin. You are so, it's, you got like what the world would call a habit, a very strong habit. What a lot of Christians might call bondage, where you, you, are, you are chained to a certain sin and you cannot go anywhere without it. You know, so in that case, you need to look to the cross. You need to look to the death of Jesus and do what Paul said. Say, I am crucified with Christ. Identify with the death of Christ. That's what it's all about, my friends. Identify with the cross. Identify with the man on the cross and identify with the one who rose from the dead. Identify with Jesus all the way and you will be victorious. Victorious. So thanks again for watching and God bless you and give you power over sin. It is possible.